Pisces, Taurus, to your August 17th through the 24th reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If you're friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. Welcome, welcome. Okay, best message. 17th through the 24th, Mercury Retrograde just started like, ooh, just like, boom, just stopped, right? And it's just like, here I am. <laughs> I'm stable now. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Just fine. I try not to worry about it too much. I try to use it to my advantage as much as possible. Um, you have the wise leader over here. You are a beacon for others, Aries Taurus, and that is exactly it. You are the leader. You are a wise leader. You know where your miracles are. You expect the wondrous to emerge. You believe in magic. You believe in miracles, and you know that you are the wise leader and that you are going to get this miracle. Yep, because you have chosen your path. All is possible. And you are. You're telling yourself this. You're like, you know what? Here's the miracle that I want. I've got a genie in the bottle. It's called my manifestation. I'm going to use it and I am going to choose my path because everything is possible. And I am going to stay strong in this beautiful fire energy, um, right? That beautiful area is within me. It's going to be passionate, be the leader, and really take charge and control of this situation, right? Because you have the gates of triumph. So... Begin now. Take your first step towards success that expands within your life. And that's exactly what you're doing. And I do believe that, right? You are really paying attention to what is going on around you. So I do believe that you have been manifesting and you have um, your manifestation. You are the magician right now and you have a genie in a bottle. <laughs> so it's kind of like, who's Aries Taurus? Oh, they're the magician. They got a, you're Aladdin. Come on, Jeannie, let's go. So we're just going to call you Aladdin right now because um, you definitely feel like you have the genie in the bottom. Hell yeah, you do. Look at that. The gatekeeper to the universe. You have the sacred bond within the universe right now. You have the wisdom. You're at the mercy of this miracle of the higher, of the hierarchies of the universe. Beautiful Taurian card coming in, sitting in your Taurian energy as well, saying, this is where I am. I understand the sacred, the sacredness of the universe, and I understand the rules. Oh, yeah. I understand the universal rules. Oh, I am co-creator, right? And I'm going to make my dreams come true with the start. All is possible. Having hope, faith, and purpose. So right now, guys, you guys are kind of on like a spiritual little evolution thing going on over here. For those of you this resonates with, um, really stepping up the game right now, um, taking advantage. Now, I'm loving this, right? Taking advantage of that 8-8 eight, eight lion's gate, taking advantage of, you know, that, uh, that full moon and now the blue moon's coming, right? Good. Good for you. Good for you. Really knowing where you're going to put your, your energy and really stepping up the game right now. That's what I've been doing to tell you the truth. Every, since the strawberry moon, uh, every moon that I've been hitting, I have just, these super moons and these new moons, and then the lion's portal, I have just been hitting every one of them. I'm going to take advantage while they're here, right? And really manifesting, manifesting like a crazy woman. But why not? That's what they say we're allowed to do. That's what we're here to do. That's that's how we get the things we want. We manifest whether we know it or not anyways. Because every time I say, I wish I had those shoes. You never know. I might get those shoes. Right? I might get them for Christmas. That's why Christmas is here. <laughs> might get them for my birthday. But you see what I'm saying? We, we manifest all the time. It just depends on what energy you're putting in higher than other things. But we ask for things all the time um, and manifest little things here and there all the time. Um, but begins now. Time to take your first steps. It is time to take the first steps on towards this journey, towards this manifestation. You know what you want. You have your genie in the bottle. You are ready to rock and roll. Right, and yes, absolutely, you're going after your Ace of Cups. And you're the wise leader. 
For some of you, I think with a wise leader, I think you're actually teaching others as well. And if you've been getting a lot of things from your manifestations, people might be like, how are you doing that? Are you a witch? Are you a magician? Be like, yeah, we're all magicians, but you know, however. But you might be actually teaching them how to manifest. You might be teaching them, you know, other things as well as the wise leader of the Hierophant. So with the success expands in your life, you have no doubts, you have no fears, you're having a rebirth, you're, you're understanding what's going on, you have an absolution of everything, you have total awakening. I do think that for, so for some of you, the reason you're the beacon for others, I think you're actually teaching. You're teaching your spouse, you're teaching your friends also about this genie in the bottle, which is metaphoric. And that would be so funny because I would really love for somebody to actually say, and they thought I really did, and they wanted to see the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Did Jeannie come out? Okay, but no, here comes your beautiful card right here as the emperor. Because you are. You are the, rise, the wise leader. You are the emperor, my friends. The emperor is a Taurus, Aries Taurus card. Um, and this is where you do. You, you really are getting the respect. And, you know, your business is going good. You know, if you're the father, the kids are all doing great. The household's doing wonderful. You know, and you're keeping everything in place right now. It's like everything has a place and everything knows where its place is, right? Um, and you're, you do. You really have this focus, but you're being very practical about the situation and, and taking a lot of control. So all is possible. You're just looking at all the tools within yourself and nurturing everything that you can do at this time. Practical again. You're very practical right now. Wow, you're very practical. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles, very practical, and the Emperor, two two of the most practical people in this, all of tarot, um, Aries Taurus and the Cap, wow. So you are definitely working and providing and, like I said, parenting and doing the things you're supposed to be doing from a, like a very practical, there's no time for rainbows and unicorns and fart and skittles and all that. If I'm going to use my genie in a bottle, I'm going to do it to where it's helping my family. It's, it's financial. It's something that's actually going to be good for this reason. I'm not manifesting, you know, hot rods and, and uh, you know what I'm saying? You're doing it from like, this is what I need. Not just from the want piece, but this is what I need. Very rich chakra over here for you guys, getting down to the instincts of what you need. Um, taking the first step. I find on the taking the first step, please. There's a very practical sense going on with you right now. Um, wow. With the magician. Yeah, I'm manifesting everything and I'm co-creating and taking action and manifesting anything and everything that I can get my little hands on <laughs> that comes to mind. Um, it's being the wise leader, though. Yeah, because you're just like, you know what? This is what I have to do. I have this power of manifestation. I understand how things work. And I'm just going to go for it. Getting that Ace of Cups. And you got the gates of triumph over here. So you are being disciplined and very truthful to the universe and to yourself and to everyone around you. Right? About what it is I truly want and what I need and taking on that authority figure. Authority, authority. You're very authoritative right now. It's like don't mess with, with Aries Taurus if you're coming up with kooky ideas and things like, you know, that don't make any sense because that's not what they're after. That makes so much sense. It's so beautiful. Yeah, because you're super focused on it, what it is you truly, truly want. And you're being very patient about the situation because you're understanding moderation. It's almost like you're doing everything for your purpose, but it's like practical because you're saying if it's not for a purpose, then I'm not manifesting it. This is not the time. Right now, I have to be very sensible, find the meaning of what it is I want, have that purpose, and then put it out there. And take the action where the action needs to be taken. Wow. Not fooling. This is no game. 
right? And so anybody who wants to play games, you know, I'm going to cut them out with my sword because I don't have time for your games. I, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. I'm going for truthful things only. I'm manifesting only the best of the best. I have my intuitive messages. I go within within myself. I contemplate. I understand things. I want my inner my inner peace. My I want my inner peace, inner guidance. I want the wisdom to the situation because I am wise and I want this kind of independence. And whatever you're manifesting is for your independence or it's definitely what you, whether it's love it doesn't matter what it is it, but it seems like it's your purpose you're like i said you're not playing games right now you're you know you're resting and you're doing what you want and you're seeing a lot of speedy action going on for yourself or you will be seeing a lot of speedy action going on for yourself as you're aligning yourself um right to your chakras to your your heart center so your energy is super aligned and you are seeing a lot of this man your manifestations are quickly they're gonna go quick like i said if they haven't come in yet you are going to have the victory so whatever it is that you're doing and you're putting out there you know there's opportunities and like i said this is you're not you're like this ain't no time to mess around i'm cutting straight down to the business and i'm cutting out anybody who wants to act a fool or be stupid or whatever or doesn't have something that's uh you know that's not worth listening to this is, I don't know, I just feel like you're really, you're really focused right now. I think that there's something going on. A lot of you want to, your own business, do things like this, or fix your business, or you're an entrepreneur. You have the wheel of fortune. So whatever it is that's going on, you could have had a lot of heartache and heartbreak and just a lot of foolish games going around, and you're, you're cutting all that out. You found your inner power, your inner strength, and, and you're going for, it's almost like, like I said in that one video, well, probably all of them, I don't know. Whichever manifestation video I said it, but uh, I think too, it's like I, I go big or I go home, right? Because this is not the time to be messing around, right? I figured out how to do things. I've had a transformation. I have a better understanding of things and I'm getting down to the nitty gritty. So this week is really, really, and I think it's not just going to be this week for you, Aries Taurus. I do feel like this, you're going to be like this for a little bit of time um, to where you're just really getting down to the nitty gritty, Um and really making markers for yourself. And that's really, really strong and really, really good. And not letting anybody get in your way that's not there for your purpose or for any good, right? If you're not good, I don't want to help you. If you want to be good for me, I'll be the beacon for you. I will help you, show you how to do things. I'll do this, I'll do that. You see what I'm saying? But, uh, you're really wise right now. Boy, are you wise. This is probably one of the wisest readings, literally, that I've had all month. <laughs> yeah, because you, yeah, that's it. Because you're the snake right now. Live accordingly to your divine essence. And that's what you're saying. You know? And so you're finding, yeah. Gray squirrel, find new ways of solving problems. You're done looking at the problem. You're like, we're getting down to solving these problems. And I know exactly what I'm doing. I've done my homework with the Page of Swords. I know what I'm doing. I have a lot of creative new things going on. Act with fortitude and cooperation. And I feel like that's another thing for you as well. If people don't want to act with fortitude and cooperation, then they can go away. <laughs> right? Because, yeah, in some ways you are the hyena. You might, they may feel like, whoa, Aries Taurus, what are you doing? You're acting so different. Well, I'm daring to be different because I'm trying to do something important. Okay? Sometimes that's what we have to do. That's what we have to do. Sometimes we have to do things that are different in it, you know, to get to what we really want and what we need. Because if we keep digging trenches, we're not getting anywhere. So love it. Beautiful reading, guys. Until next time, peace and love and good luck on your manifestations. Boy, oh boy. Good day to be an Aries Taurus. Peace and love. Bye-bye.